do you see here? Hi, guys and gals. Well, it is Monday, and Monday is often the right day to do a Jasmine tag. So the Jasmine 5 question tag for today is question one. Um, foods you think look gross. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Um, I don't find most foods gross, but I'm not a great fan of um, of uh, different types of crabs. Uh, I find they look like eating uh, uh, eating. I was almost going to say insects, but that'll be another uh, thing. Uh, soft shell crabs or something I find actually looks gross. And if you ever eat it in uh, insects, so actually uh, different type of worms and stuff like that, uh, I have a few times and I'll take that. Yeah, Mostly that. Certain insects. How adventurous are you? I kind of get the impression that as many of us that are doing these tags, we're all older a bit now. And a lot of us were a lot more adventurous, at least my own self, um, <clears throat> when I was younger. Now I just kind of like try and be careful. I don't see as well. So like going down, even going downstairs can be an adventure. <laughs> um, I think I was relatively, I say relatively adventurous. I like doing things. I wasn't, I was never very, let's say my level of dexterity was never great. So doing, being adventurous in that respect, uh, I knew was probably going to end me, you know, like flat on my face or something. So I would be adventurous, you know, in a group. Uh, I don't know if, you know, if that counts, but yeah. So am I very adventurous now? Yeah, I do still try to do things, but certainly a lot less than I was younger. Question three, what has changed most since you were a kid? Automatically, I'm thinking about my childhood in the village where we would just basically go off. I'm not saying that we would not tell our parents, although most of the time we wouldn't, I guess. But I mean, we would just be able to do things. Uh, we were so much freer. We would play a lot more games and stuff like that. Uh, we would play cowboys and Indians, for example, which is probably not politically correct anymore. But we would play war games or uh, hide and seek and stuff like that. And we'd go off and build cabins and uh, stuff like that. In today's world, nobody does that anymore. Nobody does that anymore. The only time that they go out and build things like cabins and stuff like that, like that is if they're in a, in a scout outing or something like that. It just seems like everybody's afraid that their kid's going to be kidnapped or something like that, you know? And then there's a, the whole thing of... Um, well, social media, basically, where and online things where kids are now all the time instead of being outside. So that's probably the thing that's changed the most. Question four. The dumbest thing you see people doing. Hmm. One of the most self-evident dumb things that are part of today's society or the way people interact with, uh, when they're walking with their, with their phones. But um, I tend to think that the dumbest thing that I see people doing is in today's world is the way that they, they act, for example. I don't know if that's a dumb thing or a lack of education. But on, let's say, uh, on a bus or a train or public transport, um, people don't show any respect anymore for uh, 
for stuff. I mean, like it be it the, the material that they're sitting on. I mean, it could be the the benches. It could be uh, well, it's maybe not dumb, but it's a lack of respect, I guess. One of the dumbest things I've been seeing people doing lately, actually, but it has to do with with the whole story of of climate change and so on, is people that go into museums and uh, and throw uh, paint or something on a on a on a beautiful painting or something like that. Yeah, of course they're getting noticed, but are they gonna get? Are people gonna want to follow them? Eh, I don't think so. That's for me a dumb thing. That's probably the dumbest thing I see people doing lately. Yeah. Question five. Did you have a hideout as a kid? Uh, we had a few, actually. We had, uh, at one time in the woods, there was a cabin. Not actually one that we made ourselves, uh, which was one that we would go to. Uh, that was kind of a hideout. And one of the coolest hideouts, if I could call it that way, is my dad had a had an old car that he had was going to scrap or what and he before he got rid of it he had it parked somewhere over in the, in a field and we would use it actually as a as a hideout to go a bunch of kids and read comic books and stuff like that and just chat and kind of like a have it as a cabin it was even a, at one point it was even our batmobile I know, the Batmobile was certainly a lot sexier than that old car was. But for us kids, you know, that was what it was. You know, it was, we'd play, it was, yeah, it was our hideout, it was our play place, and so on. Yeah, that was it. That was probably one of the hideouts. And my, one of my cousins had a, a little, I was almost going to say, it wasn't really, a, it was a playhouse of some type. And if we went over there, we'd immediately go over there. That was our hideout as kids. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. So it'll be DC signing off. Take care, everybody. Thank you again, Jasmine, for these questions. They make us think, bring back sometimes some good, sometimes less good memories. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, everybody. Take care. DC signing off. Bye-bye.